In this tutorial, I'll be grading this scene from a, pretty much an abandoned um, park around where I live. I really liked the way it looked. Um, it looked creepy. It looks like a, a good scene for uh, a movie. So I'm just going to grade this and we'll see how it comes out. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is add two nodes. And to do that, we're going to hit alternate S twice. So we'll have three all together. I think on Mac, you, you hit um, command or option S. Next, we're going to go ahead and convert this fantasy filter footage, which is this is how it'll look direct from your camera with our fantasy filter to VLOG conversion tool. And we're going to use cool. So right away you see it changes and turns it into log footage for us. The next thing we're going to do is reduce the saturation down to zero by going right here. And I do this once again so that I can adjust the tones in the footage without being worried um, with the colors or without being distracted by all the colors. Uh, this is a t technique I, I found um, and this is a technique that I use on all of my footage um, as it really can help you get better at making your your footage more cinematic. Uh, if you notice in movies if you look at any black and white movie you're going to see tons of shadows and lots of highlights and lots of contrast so that's what we want to give each scene that we record so now that we have the saturation down I'm going to place a dot right here we're going to reduce the shadows and after I reduce the shadows, I just want you to still be able to make out the details in the scene. I don't want you to add so much, or I don't want to add so much that you can't see the details in the blacks. Next, we'll adjust the midtones. Ah, that looks much better. And last, the highlights. This is what I would imagine it would look like if it was in a black and white movie. Now that we have this done, let's next add our color back. So we bring it back up to 50%. And there you go. And next we click on the third one and we're going to add the Technicolor base. And this is going to add the color to the scene and right away it gives that footage a very very movie like feel next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take out the color in the blacks like if you look right here there's a little bit of green and some other tints to the black so we're going to hit alternate S to create another node click on this very last dot right here and this is saturation versus saturation. This takes out the saturation in the highlights or the shadows. We're going to do the shadows or the blacks. And all you have to do is click a dot right here and bring this down. And it's hard to see with YouTube, but as soon as you do it, the blacks become blacker. And if it's if it alters too many things in your scene, you can always bring it up slightly. And that looks great. So let's and you can see how well you did because now the the gates here are are jet black.
and that looks great and if you wanted to we can add another node and add in more color by going to the color boost which is on number two we were adjusting one now don't add the saturation but I go to number two and I just add more color with the color boost and that will make the greens and everything pop a little more if it's too yellow we can go to temperature and bring that down a bit and if you want a little more red or pink you can then add in tint to about 9 or 10 and and there you have it that looks great everyone has their own taste but I definitely like how that looks alright that completes this tutorial um, stay tuned for the next one